guys, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Thank you for bearing with me, all of you, and thank you for all your love and support and condolences. It's been, it's helped me really. I've had a bit of a crap weekend, I think that's probably the best way to say it, and some unexpected news about someone passing over. So it was a bit of a, oh, get my shit together type weekend. So I'm sorry that I've been quiet. Um, so I thought I'd throw one out to you today. And then, if I go quiet again, please just carry on bearing with me, okay? Um, so, what we're going to do is, um, what are we doing? What's actually going on with them? So, what's actually happening with your person? So, we'll have deck number one and deck number two. Pick our deck. So, have a think about you. Have a think about your person. Um, we're going with the lower chakras. We're going with the bottom of your spine. Two inches below your belly button and two inches above your belly button. Where the pull is from that, that's what we're going with. So that number one or number two, pick a deck and think about your person as well with that energy pull. Okay, let's go. Can you tell me please? So as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I have no idea what it's going to come out with, but it's just going to do an overall of what's happening with the strongest energy of you, well, with your person. Deck number one's collective energy. And can I get into their people's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and pop you back in, you can come out again if you need to. Got lots of jumpers. Okay, can you get me into their thoughts? Think about your person, can I get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? These cards have never been that flexible. Guide says two more. One. Two. Okay, we're having that top one. Okay, can you tell me what's actually happening with the collective energy of their person? Let's do one at a time, please. Do, 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 do. Yeah, crap weekend. Crap weekend. Such is life though, eh? Life goes on. Two. One, two, three. Let's get another four. One. What's actually happening with that person? Two. Three. Four. Five. And get one more. Three, four, Okay, so what's happening with your person at the moment? There is a lot of conflicting energy going on in their head and in their heart. Um, some of you aren't in communication, some of you are in communication, some of you are in little communication. So all your situations are very different in this deck, okay? So just take it as you need to. Remember, if it doesn't resonate, um, remember it for a later date. So there's a lot of conflicting energy. You are feeling like you're trying to catch them, even if you 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 just want to catch them, catch them and pin them down in a non-naughty way but you are you feeling like you're just standing on the edge of this cliff getting ready to jump and just trying to hold on to them you feel like you're losing grip and they're not sure what they're meant to be doing so they're up and down round and round backwards and forwards um toing and throwing but you're jumping off the cliff and so are they not literally please don't do that um so you've got the energy of this is you are both kind of going with the flow of the situation so you are mirroring one another with how your feelings and your emotions are and the up and downs and the wavering and the backwards and forwards. Your energies are wavering within this group, okay? So you're both feeling the same, um, but you're seeing it from very different angles. They are trying to balance, you're both trying to balance this yin and yang energy. There is an element of peace trying to come from the situation. You're both trying to make peace with it, whether that's together, whether that's alone. Again, your individual circumstances are all different, but there is a need for peace within this deck. A lot of you are, are feeling at the end of your tether and fed up and miserable and annoyed and pissed off with them. And they are kind of just backwards and forwards, to ring and throwing while they're trying to work out what you they want you're you're feeling like you're standing still and they are either running or chasing whatever the equivalent is so it's that kind of energy that's coming forward however there is a loving energy towards you but there's also um a non-committal type energy at this point in time and that is because the energy between the two of you is very very strong sexually there is a really strong sexual chemistry between the two of you um 
so and the lovers so it's knight of wands and the lovers so you're trying they want to they do want to make moves towards you you're trying to catch them you're wanting commitment they're not sure what they're wanting um because the energy is really strong between the two of you but there is love there but what happens is the passionate side of things overtakes the love side of things because for them a lot of them struggle with how they split, say their emotions how it kind of comes over so the passionate side of things can come over predominantly more than the love side of things but do remember that there is heart-centered feelings towards you and that is also shown here with the two of cups so you've got the true love card true love two of cups heart-centered emotions again mirroring one another you're both trying to put on each other how the other person is feeling without really communicating about it you um your person is definitely failing to see things from your perspective because in the nicest way possible they can be a little bit self-orientated and kind of a little bit selfish because they think that they is kind of on their on their terms what's happening with you is you're starting to stand more in your power you're starting to feel better about the situation um to a degree you're just trying to feel more stable with the queen of pentacles you're trying to work it all out you're knowing that hard work will eventually be rewarded but you've just been toing and throwing with it as well so there's a lot of mixed up energy within this deck however there is love between the two of you but it's just being masked with passion so if you're not in communication please don't panic they will probably come back well they will come back but it'll be if they communicate with you um from a sexual point of view please don't take it to heart again that's the strongest energy between the two of you um if they kind of just go a little bit blase with you like they're not giving you too much and then they're giving you a little bit and taking away again roll with the energies of that because that is just how they are handling the situation at this moment in time please remember beneath it all there is love um you've got the hermit and the hierophant so if you're not in communication or if they are, are well with them going backwards and forwards when they go quiet on you what they are doing is they are processing the situation and trying to discover the truth about it they're trying to work out um what's actually happening they're trying to um from an energy level they have noticing that they are holding the keys to the prison they are kind of locking themselves in this prison they are the ones holding the keys and they know that they have got to unlock the cell but they're just taking their time doing it and that is why they go into processing mode and they're reflecting on the situation and um, there are a lot of people that are trying to influence it um, but your person is actually standing quite stable and secure in their emotions at the moment your energies are interlinked as well, Spirit is saying, so this is most likely a divine relationship, hence why you are all mirroring. They can see that you are holding the light, you are the light forward for them. Um, they are used to you kind of being around and hoping that you and them are going to move things forward. So they are hopeful that this is going to move forward, this, that this is going to shift. But what's why they're backing and forwarding is everything that I've said so far. That's why they are acting the way they are. Um, and that's what's actually going on in their head but they're feeling more stable they know that they've got to make some choices for it and they can see that you are the one holding the light and um, you are the one that they will go to you are their go-to i'm hearing you are their go-to they are feeling more stable you're starting to feel more stable and again your energy is mirroring you've also got an owl on this for spirit and the wise and the divine coming in stepping into the energy i know a lot of you are at the end of your tether but spirit are trying to push the situation forward for you your team of each and every single one of you watching your team of spirit guides is on your side and they're trying to get it to work out for you please pay attention to your intuition not just the random thoughts and then you're like oh my god did i just think that pay attention to what you are getting when you're not thinking about this when if that happens when you're not thinking about it see what kind of comes into your head because the the easiest way well and in your dreams but the easiest way spirit will communicate with you in your waking life is just by throwing messages at you out of the blue if you're not tapped in tuned in turned on so just pay attention to what suddenly comes into your head like a song or um it will come through your thought process for a lot of you um, so I hear, I hear in different ears, but the majority of people are something called claircognizant, which means it comes through their thoughts. That's the easiest way spirit communicate with those that haven't tapped into the energy. So please pay attention to your thought processes. Your man or woman, your energy of the other person is then going to start making these steps towards you and um, again you've got the owl on one side for spirit you've got the eagle on the other side for freedom they are going to liberate themselves from the situation to move forward towards you so basically they're going to unlock the prism with their key and move towards you and that'll be communication that will be passionate energy that will be uh, some of you if you're already in communication that will be taking the next steps forward with you so it's really positive and then you've got the sun and the four of ones happy outcomes things being perfect happy happy families weddings engagements the whole caboodle 
So you've kind of just got to go at their speed, let it naturally unfold. Don't push them for answers. Don't push them into a situation because that could go the opposite way. Let them do it naturally with you. Remember that they do love you. If it comes over that it's just sexual energy and you're getting annoyed with it, just go with the flow of it. Um, or stand your ground with them and say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm worth more than that. Or whatever you feel is right for your situation completely. You're all in different spots. Um, but just remember that. Remember that the sexual energy will come through stronger than the love energy at the moment because that is the easiest way for them to communicate with you without putting their heart on the line. You don't need to you don't need to try and catch them. They will naturally come back towards you as time progresses. Because there is love. There is love and they are feeling more stable. You're feeling more stable. You're both working it out. Your energy is mirroring. You're both doing the self-love. You're both doing the work. And that means that things can progress forward. So that's what's actually happening with deck number one. That was good. So if you want to book a private reading deck number one, drop me a message at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, my bookings, I am going to be putting them um, on a bit of a halt soon for Christmas. And then we'll be coming into the new year. So you haven't got much longer to book if you want a reading before the new year is out. You've probably only got about six days. So just let me know. Drop me an email. And if not, we, we'll, we'll be taking January bookings. Okay, deck number two. Let's go. What am I on? 11 and 17. Deck number two, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on. I was just talking about private readings. Saying that um, I'm going to be putting them... Christmas is coming up and I'm going to be having a break over Christmas because I need to spend some time with family, um, especially after what's happened the last weekend. Um, so I'm going to be taking bookings for the next few days and then um, there will be a break, but I'll start taking bookings in Jan uh, bookings for January. So just bear that in mind if you want to book. If you want a reason before New Year, you need to get uh, it will need to be booked in the next few days. OK, let's go. Deck number two, can you tell me what is actually going on with that person? Can you get me into the collective energy of deck number two, those watching? And think about your person, can I get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? I wonder what that is. It's a like Humpty Dumpty, isn't it? That reminds me of someone walking, really trudging along quite slowly. Do, 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 do. I wonder if that's a theme tune. Anyone know? Shout me. Put it in the um, put it in the comments for me. Right. Think about them. Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, and can you tell me what's actually going on? So as always, this is going to work on the strongest mutual energy for you. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Um, all of your situations are completely different, but it's pulling out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So can you tell me what is actually happening with their people at this point in time? What is actually going on? One. Two. Three. Four. Wow, that's interesting. One. Two. Three. Oh, I can have three at the top. One, two, three. And I just need to get a clarifying card. Okay, there is a lot of people influencing this situation. Some of you in this situation, obviously remember all your situations are completely different. Some of you, your person is with someone else. Um, some of you, you are in fear that they are in with someone else. Some of them, they are in fear that you are with some of them, someone else. So there is a lot of third party kind of fears and energies coming up within this deck. Now that isn't all of you, but that is some of you. So just be aware of that. Which is why deception has kind of jumped out in this deck. And when we're asking why, you've got the King of Wands and Three of Cups. This is suggesting that there would be a third party kind of situation going on where one of you is feeling lied to. Whether that's fear or whether that's actual lying, that is dependent on your individual circumstances. So please don't freak out. Um, if you wanted to look at it in personal reading, just let me know. But that is what's kind of happening. There is that element of energy coming through. A lot of fears, a lot of being hurt in the past. Um, 
and trying to you're trying to focus on how to move the situation forward and um, they are feeling they are trying to get themselves more stable a lot of them are focusing on family at the moment and work and the reason that they are doing that is to kind of take the shift away from you and focus on other things in their life that are important and the reason for that is because the energy between the two of you is very very intense and they're trying to just move on and focus on what's happening with themselves at this point in time that is no reflection on you that is just what happens sometimes that's just what's happening it isn't a reflection on how they feel about you or anything like that it's just that they want to feel more stable they're starting to turn around and face the blocks um whereas they've turned their back on them before in the past now they're starting to face them and it is blocks to do with communication and spirit and uh, sexual energy as well but largely the majority of it is to do with communication so there's a lot of blocks with communication within this deck again depending on your individual circumstances they are thinking things through They are starting to think things through. A lot of them are uh, turning to, or a lot of you are turning to spirit to help you through the situation. Again, you've got this helix for your energy entwining. This is a relationship that has gone through time and time and time. A lot of you have got past lives energy. Again, if you want to book a past life reading, let me know um, and we can get that booked up for you. That goes through your and your person's most relevant past lives. Spirit, communicate with me, show me the images, show me what's happened and tell you, you how to do the block, how to clear the blocks. That's what your job is. You've got to do your own work. But this is a relationship that is intertwining, going through throughout time. Um, and therefore it has a build up of karma as I'm hearing as well. A lot of you have actually done quite well in clearing the karma, but some of your people have created more karma depending on this third party situation some of them have actually created more karma from it don't panic though you can you can always clear it um so the influences of that you've got queen of pentacles king of swords page of wands knight of wands some of them have been quite childish some of them are acting like children some of them have actually got children and um, some of you are, are parents and you're trying to protect your children and you're focusing on that so there is an energy focus on children within this deck whether that's physical children or whether they are acting like a child or whether you are acting like a child what is happening is the energy of this wands this passionate energy is being pulled through they are on this cusp of trying to make these moves forward they're currently throwing these coins up in the air seeing where they're going to land it's like a bit of a heads or tails do i reach out don't i reach out do we move the relationship forward don't we move it forward um, and it feels that they are just going to go with the flow of the energy so just roll with it roll with the tides the tides will change um spirit is showing me quite a disruptive sea at the moment and then it just as the sun kind of comes up and it sweeps over the sky it does turn more placid um so at night time your thoughts are getting on on top of you um but also on top of them so you're mirroring that energy as well you know there's a lot of mirroring today going on and um, that's universal energies that are helping that that's what spirit just said to me so um they are standing there tossing this coin working out which way they're going to go they are going to go with the flow of it you are just keep on looking after yourself you are strong you are in your power you are feeling stable um or starting to feel more stable you are leaning on people that need uh need your support i heard first but you are also leaning on people that you that need to support you so that's happening as well. Um, keeping your cards close to your chest. Keep on doing that for the time being. Don't put all your eggs out on the side. Keep them really cards close to your chest. Just heard the winner takes it all. Now that doesn't mean that you and this person are going to be getting into that type of energy. It just means that you just keep your cards close to your chest. And then when the time is right, it can be revealed. And then the situation can move forward so you can be the winner. That's what Spirit is saying. You've got Ace of Wands and Chariot and the Hierophant. So despite all these energies kind of going on, your end goals are really good. Again, the passionate side of things are moving forward. The truth of the situation is being revealed and your long-term objectives are being met. Now, some of you are asking about timings. If Spirit don't give me a timing, I will not give you a timing because I don't believe in telling you false information. Um, and Spirit are not giving a timing for this because you are all at very, very different stages and very, very different steps. If you wanted to look at timings, we can do that in personal readings again but please remember a time is you have to give them leeway because there is no such thing in the higher dimensions so with the best will in the world as i do your cards right here right now that is the timing but if your person changes his mind and has free will or their mind that timing can change but the long-term objectives are being met so therefore you have to be impatient no be patient i heard impatient then you have to be patient rather than impatient but i saying you're getting impatient with the situation 
write it down as well spirit is saying write down all these fears that are kind of building up with you and burn them spirit is saying that um you can do that on a new moon i'm hearing don't understand nothing about that i'm just a manifester but those of you that are more that way inclined you're doing that but spirit just saying burn the fears and away regardless and um, get them out of your head because again these fears at night time are being brought forward into the forefront of your mind and you're like oh my god what am i doing so that's kind of going on as well but go with the flow of it your end term your long-term objectives are good new beginnings based on passion things coming forward there is going to be movement from your person they are going to step closer into your energy go at their speed go with the flow and keep focusing that energy back to you. Self love is the key. Self love is the key for this moving forward. And that's it. So if you want to book a private reading, um, I don't know if you just, I did say at the start, I don't know who tapped in. My um, bookings are going to, I was going to start taking bookings for the new year soon because I am going to have a break over Christmas. So the Christmas bookings are going to come to a close in the next week or so. So if you want to book in before the new year and you want to get it done before new year, you please let me know as soon as you can and um, if not you'll be on the January list. Uh, backlog is about 10 to 14 days at the moment. Oh, if I can I will do them at the earliest possible time I can um, within that backlog but that's how long the wait list is. So yeah just drop me a message anyway mysticlovetarot at gmail.com um, find me on Instagram if you want to have your say and have a look at all the worldly news and um, thank you all once again for being ever so patient with me at this difficult time it really it means the world to me it has not been easy so thank you um lots of love to you all bye